Ian's doing maintenance, ride's not even started. He's accusing me of not doing his bucket up. How are you? Hello you two, how are you? Is, uh, the devil should cast his net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are we? Well, I was worried. I thought you were going to get a machine coffee, but I can see no, now I've, that you've I've gone got for... got a Jimmy's iced coffee. Right. And a croissant thing in there uh, somewhere. Very good. How Thanks. are we? Oh, I'm good. Thanks to you. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to Hardy's Tea Room. Hello. We're going straight there on a, on a three-pound route without any diversions of any sort? Yes. Yes. Well, it's me leading, so we could <laughs> get lost. <laughs> we could be anywhere. So we're underway on a British Cycling Go Ride under Ride With Roy's leadership and Ian is his assistant. Anything could happen really, couldn't it? Yes. My assistant. Your assistant? Yeah. So you're totally clear on your role. You know exactly what you're doing? Yeah. You'll be the height of organisation. Yeah. It is, it's nice isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Oh I like a noisy hub. Yeah. I do, yeah. 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 Well it beats fitting a bell. <laughs> cold. So there are six of us on this ride today. And I think the plan is that we're just under 30 miles. 25. Quite easy pace. How many? 25. 25? 25 on paper. Yeah, I know, yeah, but when is a ride with Roy ever <laughs> been direct? It's only a case of how much extra. <laughs> so right, he won't he won't hear. Listen, we all make mistakes. Yes, we do. You more I've than others. I've never got you what? more than others. What? <laughs> <laughs> God, oh. can you believe that? What a thing to say. So Ian's gone off doing his assistant's job. He's gone off to the junction to make sure we can all escort safely. Well done, sir. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you. It's very organised, isn't it? It's very good, I like it. We've got a bridge, Ian. Bridge. Nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We've got a bit of off road, a bit of travel, a bit of gravel track. This is uh, this is East Stoke, and um, this is got a history lesson. Battle, battle of Stoke Field. Wars of the Roses, and. Uh, this is the Battle of Stoke Field took place here. And um, the interesting thing with this is that there's a there's some conjecture now. There was a mysterious knight involved in this battle. Um, can't remember his name, but there's now some conjecture that he was actually one of the princes in the tower. Healthy option again. Oh. Oh, he is off, he's got a bit of greenery, look. Yeah. And what's underneath there is... Well, it doesn't matter, does it? ...is ham and three American pancakes, I do believe. It's all refueling, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a good movie. It's going to all be gone. Yeah, just a snack. Lemon juice. I'm not yeah. saying this on camera. So I'll edit it out. No, no, you, no won't. you won't, because you never do. <laughs> so we are now post cafe stop. Ian had the breakfast of champions involving pancakes. I went for poached eggs, healthy option on a nice blue loaf with some mushrooms. 
So we are, well I am 27 miles in. I think we're about 15 into Roy's part of the ride. I'm about 27 into my ride. So I think I'll probably end about 50 miles-ish for the ride, which will be nice. So we actually rode out from Bottisford, which is just over the Lincolnshire border into Nottinghamshire. And we went out into Nottinghamshire from there, headed initially in the general direction of Nottingham, then took a right in the general direction of Newark. Went to Hardy's Farm Shop Cafe. Now we're heading back to Bottisford. So I'm riding with Roy. So it's not too long since you've done your big trip, is it? How are you recovered? Uh, the Scotland one. The Scotland one, yeah. yeah. Well, it took a while to recover. But uh, of course then, last week did the overnight 135 mile ride with Bruce. Yeah. And uh, on the Saturday, so that was Thursday we finished that. Saturday, I rode with my son in the South Downs. Right. 50 miles, 3,000 feet of climbing, and he nearly killed me. <laughs> so <laughs> when, you, when you did 135 overnight, yeah. did you plan in advance to catch up with sleep in the day, or yes. was that a spur of the moment? Or? Yeah, no, no, we yeah. planned it for about two weeks, I think. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it depended on the weather. If it was going to be rough weather, we wouldn't bother. But I planned it to be close to the shortest night. Yeah. And. Uh, oh. Got a hill, right? Got a hill. We shouldn't talk when we're going up now. No. But uh, yeah, I managed to get some sleep in the night, in the day. But I have to say, with riding, kept us awake. Yes, it would do. Yeah. And the other thing that was good is there were a couple of fairly steep climbs, but because it was dark, we couldn't actually see them. <laughs> it just felt. I think that definitely helps. If you don't see too far ahead, yeah, it definitely helps. One of my hill techniques is just look really close to your front wheel rather than what's ahead. Yeah. And it gets me up them. So being in the dark would be the same thing. Yeah. My hill technique is to avoid them. <laughs> yes. So what's your next big ride plan? Uh, at the moment, nothing. Uh, I mentioned that I'm planning this long distance route around Lincolnshire, which is 300 miles. So I'm thinking probably early September to probably ride as do much some wreckers yeah every year for the last seven years I've said I'm gonna do the Dunwich Dynamo overnight yeah, yeah. and still haven't it's no. coming up in a few weeks and I could actually do it this year uh -huh. but uh, yeah I'm not sure if I will or not well, I, I keep I'm, saying I'm gonna do it I'd be up for it yeah we might have to do it yeah yeah we might have to do it quite enjoy that I'll have to I do mean it. I'm intrigued now if anybody the viewers have done the Dunnets Dynamo. Drop a comment below if you have. So we're just coming up to the end of Roy's organised ride now. I've still got about 12 miles to go. We're just pulling into Bottisford Co-op. Nice ride, right? Good. We all got round safely. Yeah. We didn't even get lost. Uh, well, no. No. I, even I can't get lost around here. Out we didn't get lost, Ian. No. You've broken your bike. Ian, have you got SPDs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see if you can clip into that pedal first? See ya, bye. See you later, have a good one. Safe ride. Enjoyed this ride then Ian, being yeah. assistant, assistant to, very good, mate. Yeah, assistant very to good. the main man there. Yeah. You made I a very good assistant. I forgot what to do at the beginning, it's been so long, but yeah, it's good. I think you forgot you forgot what to do at the end as well. But <laughs> <laughs> and just the beginning. Get to meet some really nice people. Yeah. You know, on the recycling scene. Even people at uh, Recycling UK. Not just British cycling people. Yeah, yeah.
So we're, take, we're taking a shortcut along the uh, canal. Someone's pulled the plug out. Look. Who's done that? Just coming up to my favourite canal bridge. It's a little bit overgrown at the moment around it. More so than usual. So you got a hill? Yeah, we could go the flat. Have you told Ian? Ian wants a hill. He loves a hill, Ian. He said he wants a Good hill. Good job, I'm going deaf. Pardon? Yeah. <laughs> is, your, is your Garmin sending you straight on? Is that the issue? He's got the Garmin set. Wait there, is it? This is, no the, this is a tough hill. We normally we do the next one, don't we? No, we're doing this one. I'm being done over You're it. going for the harder one. <laughs> I, I don't want to state the flipping obvious, but he's got an electric motor in his bike. Believe you me, mate. I've got a big bit of string, mate. I'll be hanging <laughs> off the back of it. All right. Thanks for the thanks for ride, Roy. Thanks for coming. See you soon. See you next time. See you, in. Bye. Well done on your assistant role. It, you were the best assistant I've ever been on. Been with, rather, on a ride. You Roy's the best ride leader. You know it. Yeah. You know it. See you soon, mate. Have a safe ride, mate. Bye. See you later. So Ian and Roy are on the road, up a st very steep hill. I've kind of got the wrong, I've got the wrong tyre pressures and wheels in for this, but as you can probably hear, it's rattling around a little bit. But I've got road, my road wheels with uh, 65 psi in them, so it's, it's not ideal. But I'm going to stick with it. I didn't fancy that hill. canal towpath is pretty overgrown at the moment it does tend to be like this at, uh, at this time of the year really I guess it's uh, peak growth you definitely need to be wearing glasses some of these nettles and bits of grass and branch are at, uh, at eye level So back in Grantham now, cycle path coming back into town. Just coming up to 50 miles, so I shall end about 52. So very pleasant ride. My legs feel fine actually, don't feel tired at all, but I think we were riding on an organised ride like that. The pace is a little bit slower, so it's quite an easy ride. And I think uh, it would be easier the ride you can just keep going, can't you? So I'm going to head home, make myself a very nice coffee, have a little rest and crack on with my jobs. But good to see Roy and Ian, and uh, thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in a week or so's time. Bye for now.